So to create the NACA0012 airfoil part, uh, first thing to do is, in SolidWorks we go to Tools, Options, Document Properties, and change our units to MKS for meter kilogram second. So we're in SI units, click OK. Now in Features, ensure we're in the Features tab, go to Curves, Curves through XYZ points browse to the right directory, ensure the text files are enabled and click on NACA0012 text document, double click. In the curve file window in SOLIDWORKS we now click OK, don't click in insert, uh, so hit OK. You can then zoom out and press Control F, Control 1 on the keyboard to get front view. Next we go to sketch, hit sketch again and front plane, then convert entities, select the edge of the airfoil and uh, hit the green tick for OK and next we click on this black edge of the airfoil, we right click that, or left click, doesn't matter, and in the existing relations window, we delete the relation, and then hit OK. Now we go to center line, and we draw a line from the trailing edge right through to the leading edge, then the second line upwards at some angle, and then we can hit escape on the keyboard. Uh, hit control on your on your keyboard and select both lines and ensure they are perpendicular and then hit OK. Now we can define a dimension of the airfoil. So the cord length is 0.15 meters or 150 mil. Okay, and hit OK. We can then hide this curve, so hit the curve and click hide. So we've now defined the cord length, 0.15 meters. We can then go to features tab, extrude boss base and extrude uh, along the z-axis uh, 0.15 meters. Hit OK and there is your airfoil part. Finally ensure it's saved in an appropriate destination. So label it NACA 0012 part file and save. Okay, great, thank you.